Hey guys, this is Deepu. Welcome to Tech Lab. In my last video, I promised you guys to make a video about GPU overclocking and how to use River Tuner to make your game run smoother. It happens to all of us when we try to run a game our hardware doesn't support. It becomes very laggy when it runs at 20 to 25 fps. But if you overclock your CPU and GPU, you can get few extra frames that can transform your game from a laggy mess to enjoyable without spending any money. If your game gets few extra frames from 25 to 30 fps, which is the frame rate of uh, most of the console like PlayStation, Xbox, it can feel quite smooth and lag free. If you are a broke gamer like me, you don't want to spend money every new game coming out. Then this video is for you my friend. I will be providing a lot of information in this video. So don't skip it. You might miss something very important. Please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. And also ring the bell icon. It means a lot. Let's say you have an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card which is a few years old and it's getting left behind in many games these days. I'm going to overclock my Gigabyte R7 240 2GB DDR3 graphics card to show you guys how to do it. Remember when you overclock your CPU or GPU it will output more heat and consume more electricity than before. We all know heat is very bad for electrical components. Before overclocking your CPU or GPU you should always apply new thermal paste on your CPU or GPU die to make sure better thermal conductivity. If you ask what thermal paste do, thermal paste helps heat sink to take the heat away from CPU or GPU die. It helps to remove any extra air bubbles between CPU or GPU die and the heat sink which drastically improves their thermal conductivity and gives better thermal performance and long life. Now open up your browser go to the link in the video description and press download our download is done now open the zip file extract the installer from the zip file double click and run the installer next accept next make sure you check this box here to install river tuner statistics server next next install our refer tuner installer is started automatically press ok next accept next next install Okay, now finish, run MSI afterburner, finish. Now we are going to run the game to see what is the best performance of our graphics card. Now open settings, go to monitoring, select any option from here and check this box to show in on screen display. It will show the statistics on the game screen so so we are going to select show on screen display gpu temperature gpu uses gpu memory uses gpu core clock gpu memory clock gpu fan d speed okay cpu temperature we don't want cpu temperature we we just want the full temperature now we want CPU uses, show on display, show on display, show, CPU uses, CPU core clock and we just want the base core clock, I don't want to see the individual core clock speed 
RAM uses. Now the most important part of this video, we want to see what is the frame rate and frame time of our game is running at. So tick this checkbox and press show in display, show on display, frame rate, frame time, average and all. I'm going to select all of them. It will help us to determine what is the performance of our graphics card. Press apply and then OK. Now I'm going to run the game to see what is the best performance of our graphics card. We are going to play Witcher 3, which is very demanding for this graphics card. OK, let's see what is the base FPS. 18, 18 is the lowest, 20, highest is 20, 21. Our graphics card memory is running at 800 megahertz and our core clock is running at 900 megahertz. And it's using 99% of our GPU and uh, running at 55 degrees Celsius. Our CPU is running at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and the clock speed is 3.8 gigahertz. The RAM usage is about uh, four and a half gig. Let's see which settings we are running this game on. We are not trying to play this game at ultra high settings and uh, 100 plus FPS. We just want to enjoy the story. We just want to play the game at a enjoyable frame rate. So let's go to settings, video settings and graphics. We are running at uh, 1024 by 768 resolution, 30 FPS capped. I'm going to set it to unlimited. Then every other settings is low. Now we are going to go back and save the settings. And now we are going to close the game. I'm going to overclock the graphics card to bridge the gap between unplayable to somewhat enjoyable. So open up MSI Afterburner again. Now go to settings and check extend overclock limits and then select with power play support. Press apply. Let's restart the PC now. After restarting your PC, open MSI Afterburner and now you are going to overclock the graphics card. Set the power limit to highest point. Then I'm going to set the core clock to 1100 megahertz. And the memory clock to around 950 megahertz. And then set the fan speed to 100% to make sure it's uh, nice and cool. Press apply. You can hear the graphics card fan just ramped up. Now save these settings. Press this floppy icon here and select a number from here. Your overclocking profile is saved at number 1. Now minimize this. We have to make sure uh, it's stable enough. Okay. Now run the Witcher 3 game again. The highest overclock I could get out of this graphics card is 1100 uh, on core clock and 950 megahertz on memory clock. Now, we are going to run the game again and let's see how many FPS we gained. Okay, after overclocking the graphics card, we are getting around, around 30 FPS, around 30 FPS, 33, 32, 
the highest point is around 33 and the lowest point is 28. What is the difference between frame rate and frame time? Let's say you have a fancy gaming computer and it can run most of the games at 60 plus FPS. Your gaming PC is uh, flexing its muscle looking at pro gamer like us. But sometimes your games might feel laggy, even though it's running at 60 plus FPS. You remember you didn't feel this kind of lag when you played this game on your console at 30 FPS. But why is this happening? Is your gaming PC getting old? No, my friend. This lag can be caused by many reasons, like monitor, mouse, keyboard, and network latencies. Frame time is one of them. It refers to how much time your CPU and GPU took to deliver a single frame. If you are running a game at 60 plus FPS, FPS here means frame rate per second. And if you want to have a smooth 60 FPS gaming experience, your PC has to output a single frame in 16.6 .6 milliseconds. If your PC fails to do that, if it delivers a single frame in 25 to 30 milliseconds, it might not sound that much, but you will feel the lag. That might cause you a headshot. It also applies to 30 FPS gaming. If you want to have a 30 FPS smooth gaming experience, your PC has to output a single frame in 33.2 milliseconds. So, Let's do that here. Now we are going to use River Tuner to close the gap between the FPS and make our frame time smoother. Here, press add. Then from here, select your game exe file. Then press open. And in here, the frame in the frame limiter option, I'm going to enter 30 FPS and press enter. Now minimize it and run the game again.
the game is running at locked 30 fps and it's delivering each frame at 33.3 milliseconds which gives a smooth 30 fps gaming experience so guys that is all for today please like and share this video also subscribe to this channel don't forget to ring the bell icon see you in the next one